Howdy team. In today's episode, I wanted to follow on from the conversation I had with Jean-Pierre de Villiers. I suggest you go and have a watch or a listen out there in the social media world or on the podcast, because if you continue to do what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always got. And since January, I've gone through one of the biggest pivots in business. It's been a real huge shift with a view to make marginal gains, to make improvements, to help my clients get bigger, better, faster results. And I thought it was a real nice follow on from the conversation I had with JP, because what's your next move? Something that I've learned through my own personal development journey is I'm constantly living in the future and actually thinking one, three, five years in front. And it's all about what's going to happen now that could potentially impact the future for me, my clients, and the results that we're going to get together. And I see consistent issues with starting, with scaling, with taking anything and everything to the next level. And I thought I'd share with you a little bit of my journey and some inspirational messages that will hopefully inspire you to be more proactive, to take more action, to get more done, to focus on the things that you need to, that potentially you don't want to, but that are going to help you to drive the business forward. Now, when I sp first started in business, as you'll no doubt know, my first 10 years were full of mistakes, consistent errors, uh, because I wasn't educated, because I didn't learn business, marketing, mindset, personal development. I hadn't invested in myself enough. I hadn't surrounded myself enough with like-minded people in order to be able to learn, develop, improve, and grow. Now, when I saw the opportunity to start all over again in 2015, downsize my business from almost seven figures and go again January 2016, I realized I had to do something different and I had to utilize social media as a means to market my business. And I had to learn in order to be able to implement. Now, the one thing I was always say is there's always fear when you're starting something new, whether it's posting on social media, whether it's doing a video, whether it's producing a podcast, writing a blog, but you can't be afraid to start because that's focusing on you and your own fears. Whereas actually you've got a huge amount of value that you can bring to the world and to your audience. You have to understand, and because I think this might be easier for me because I feel like I made 10 years worth of mistakes and had valuable lessons. So when I started all over again, I accepted within my own journey that there's going to be mistakes. There's going to be lessons. You know, the saying that resonates massively with me was from NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, my first personal development course, where they say there is no failure. There is only feedback. And that's something you should consider doing is it don't be afraid to start. Just give it a go. What's the worst thing that can happen? If it's not going to kill you, then you might as well do it. But accepting that you're going to make mistakes, accepting that there's going to be lessons on the way, being honest with yourself and potentially those that are out there enables you to just give it a try. Take one step forward. What's the one thing you can do today that's going to help you to be more proactive and get more results? And you accept that. Yes, you might make mistakes. Yes, there might be lessons, but you're not going to fail because you're just going to keep going and you're going to push through the hard days, the difficult times, the challenges, and you're going to reach out and get support where you need to. When you accept that something is a test, posting on social media and just giving it a try, doing your first video, reaching out to a potential introducer or business partner, everything happens in stages. And as you go through that stage and you come out the other side, you look back and reflect and go, wow, look how far I have come. You understand that actually it's just part of the process. You know, you enjoy the journey that you're embarking upon. And when you realize that you enjoy the journey, the challenges, the, up, the ups and the downs, the roller coaster ride, it doesn't become about the here and now. It becomes about what you need to do next. And I've just been through over the past five months, one of the biggest shifts and pivotal changes in my coaching business. Now I've been coaching, which started as a test in March of 2019. I was getting asked by my clients, you know, for business advice, for marketing support. How am I generating leads? How am I attracting the right type of clients? How am I growing my business? And I just said, look, this is taking too much time. 
you know, I'm investing loads of time into giving you free value in providing answers. So let's launch a Facebook group where I'll do weekly training and it's going to be X pounds per month. And that's been consistently happening every week since March of 2019. We collated in December more than 450 training modules, loads of resources that I've used to build my business. Uh, we've put brought guest experts in to teach everything from marketing, personal development, mindset, process, culture, leadership, business growth, management, people who have had a, you know, become friends of mine, but also had uh, an inspiration on my journey over the years. And I brought that all into this community. Now, I've changed that from a membership model. I've reviewed over five months. I went through, I reviewed every piece of content. I re-looked at absolutely everything, realized that there's just too much you know, with too much information causes procrastination, causes frustration, causes worry, too much how to. But I realized that if you continue to do what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always got, which is a relatively no, low committed person. Because where you're charging a monthly membership fee with, you know, people leave after two, three months when they realize that it's not the magic wand and they don't get the result. So we changed the model. I reviewed the portal and deleted all the least valuable content and decided to completely transform and relaunch the business to go again. Now, that was a hard decision, and you're going to face hard decisions in your journey. But you have to know when to pivot. You have to know when to change. What is your next move that you need to make in order to be able to grow? When you look at life and business as building blocks, or even better, stepping stones, you appreciate that you're going to go through challenge. It's going to be an uphill battle, but then you're going to get to a point where you're going to level off and you're going to go through that plateau where you have to make adjustments, where you have to build a team, where you have to improve your marketing, where you have to double down on sales, where you need to recruit new people. And then you have to take that next step up the ladder onto the next stepping stone, where again, your comfort zone, your growth is going to be challenged and you have to go through that uphill struggle. You know, and there's going to be things along the way, such as economic shifts, such as pandemics, such as things outside of your control, which you cannot utilize in order to be able to get, you know, the results. But I always talk about with my clients having that satellite navigation destination, the postcode that you are moving towards in the next 12 months, because then whatever happens, it's no different to facing traffic on the M25 here in the UK where you hit that traffic, you're stuck. The journey then takes you three hours rather than one hour. It's exactly the same in life and business. The destination does not change, but the journey does. When you hit that traffic, when you hit that road bump, where you hit that hard time, you just have to reassess where you are now versus where you want to be and make sure that you make the right move next. Thinking about where you need to be today where you need to be tomorrow, where you need to be next week, next month, next year is a vital thing that I see within my clients that really struggle, even at the seven figure point, making decisions that aren't actually moving them one step closer to the destination that they want to embark upon. And that's the whole reason why I had to pivot what started as a test after two years, because I'm more qualified. I have more proof of concept. I have more results. And this is going to happen in your own business journey. At some stage, you must increase your chart. You must increase your fees, the amount that you charge. At some stage, you're going to have to look at additional products and services that you can bolt in to offer a new package. At some stage, you're going to have to realize that actually you are the reason your business is not moving forward. Maybe you're procrastinating. Maybe you're not making decisions quick enough. Maybe you're not facing the challenges that you need to and overcoming them. Maybe you're just not asking for the right support, the right help, the right guidance, the right accountability. Life and business is for you. It's an opportunity for you to run it how you wish, manage it how you want, and deal with it as you need to. For those that are the benefit of your team, for the benefit of your clients, for the benefit of your lifestyle and your family. How you start is definitely not how you finish. That's one of the big, big things I would learn, I've learned. You know, you have to appreciate the journey that you're going on, where you're coming from and where you're going to. But you have to also accept that you need to test everything. You need to obviously measure it, but you need to test and review where you've got to. You need to tweak and then you need to repeat or perfect. 
when you accept that is part of the journey, part of the challenge, part of the difficulties that you're going to be facing, you are 100% going to achieve more mentally, physically, and financially. You know, the mental fortitude is something that I feel most clients or business owners that I've worked with really struggle with. And I say that because I struggled with it too. When you get the foundational principles that we spoke about on the uh, previous podcast episode that we've spoken about in other episodes, correct. When you understand that you can actually be the biggest problem to moving your business in the direction that you need to, it can have a profound effect on your results. Because when you accept that you're not great at everything, when you need to recruit to your weaknesses, when you look at your businesses and say, this is where I am now, what gap do I need to fill? Where are we not performing? Where am I not performing? Where are my strengths? Where are my weaknesses? And who can I bring in to counterbalance those? You know, I heard a great saying from somebody on uh, Clubhouse, which was very much a case of as an entrepreneur and a business owner, you have to think differently to what we're taught in school, which we know anyway, of course. But in school, you're taught that getting the smartest kid in class to do your homework is wrong. It's something you go to detention for. It's something you go to stand out in front of the headmaster for or headmistress, as the case may be. But actually, that's entrepreneurship, finding people who are better than you to do better than you at those tasks, to counterbalance your weaknesses, to help you to drive your business, your life, your income, your mindset forward. There is no harm, no shame in asking for help, in having people that you can get quick, in, in, instant decisions from. Coaching and mentoring has transformed my life, which is why I'm so passionate about helping my clients to transform their life and their business. And often when you're working in the business, it's really hard to see what your next move is going to be. As I've made one of my businesses passive, you know, that's my whole job now is focusing on What's the next move that we need to make? What's the next big shift that needs to happen in the next 90 days? And what do we need to do today in order to be able to achieve it? Now, I don't implement or action what needs to happen today. That's the job of the team. That's the job of the people in the business. That's the, uh, the managers and leaders that I have that I surround myself with. They take the ideas and bring that to life. You know, Warren Buffett spends most of his day reading, assessing stocks and shares, looking at, you know, the things that he needs to be focusing on, making one decision a year that has a huge impact on the profitability, the turnover and the results for he, him and his clients. So more often than not, if you're struggling to know what your next move is, that could be because you're that could be because you're too in the business and you need to spend more time on the business. You could be too in your life. And you need to spend more time out of your life. And that's a hard thing to potentially do. That's where, you know, having external influences, people you can lean upon and reach out to can really help you to transform your life and your business, achieve more mentally, physically and financially. So if I can leave you with one thought, one feeling, one idea today, take some time every week to think about what your next move is in life in business, in health, in wealth, in finances, so that you can live your dream life, so that you can do everything that you want to do with those that you want to do it with. Thanks very much indeed for tuning in. Remember, now's the time to become pro.